Demonstrating love for him. You are showing love to the Creator in the place where God appeared to know him. They don't appear to acknowledge him. It's a good thing. Today, I want to talk to you on the rapture. What we are expecting soonest. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Almighty Father, we give thanks unto your name. We give praises and adoration to your holy name. You have outlined the truth for us. You have made us to know what is happening and what shall happen soonest. Because you want us to know that there is hope in our Christian life. You want us to know that what is written in scripture is the truth. That if we obey and follow you, we shall reap the reward. So Lord, cause your children to understand your word, to receive your word, and to get their souls ready for the rapture. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In the book of First Thessalonians. First Thessalonians, chapter four. I read from verse 13. You know what? Let me get a phone call tonight. I'm talking to you on the rapture. The rapture refers to the coming of the Lord, Jesus Christ, to take his people home. Jesus has promised he is coming back to take his people home to take those that believe in him out of this world to be with him in heaven 
But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. There are people living in this life that have no hope. When they die, they don't know what is going to be the next thing. But we who are following Jesus have hope. If we die, we shall go to meet with Jesus in heaven. If you die today as a Christian, a child of God, somebody that is born again and is living the righteous life, your soul will be going to be with God in heaven. When Stephen was being stoned, he looked up into heaven and saw Jesus standing to welcome his soul. So, Paul here is saying, if anybody dies among us as a believer, although we feel it that he has left us, we should know he has gone to be with the Lord. Because we are not serving God in vain. We are serving God for a purpose that our soul will eternally be with God anytime we depart from this world. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, them also who sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. That's verse 14. We believe that Jesus Christ who came into this world about 2,000 years ago for human salvation that when he died the physical day they buried him he resurrected again in the third day and went back to heaven then it is telling us all of us who believe in Jesus Christ and are serving him in righteousness and in truth, if we die, we shall be resurrected. We shall be resurrected. We shall not remain on the grave. That is the revelation of the word of God to us. I am saying the same thing to you. That because you believe that Jesus Christ died 
physically. I was buried. I rose again the third day and went back to heaven. And you are following Jesus with all your heart. There is a clear thing that is coming in your way. If you die now, you shall be resurrected. To meet with God. Verse 15. But this we say unto you by the word of the Lord that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. Some of us have died already who are following this way. Who are serving the Lord in righteousness and holiness. Now, we are expecting the Lord to return for us as he promised. See the promise of the Lord in John chapter 14. Verse 1 to verse 3. John chapter 14, verse 1 to 3. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself that where I am there ye may be also. When Jesus was leaving this world, he told his followers that he was going to prepare a place in heaven for them. And that he would return after he had prepared the place to take them to heaven. And that is what we're waiting now. We're waiting for the coming of Jesus now. We're trusting in the coming of Jesus now. Signs are showing us that we are living in the period when Jesus shall return. We are receiving his message in various ways. The Lord is returning. You who are serving the Lord, you are preparing yourself for the coming of the Lord. Because our generation is the generation that shall see Jesus alive coming for the rapture. To take his children home. That is the rapture. You do well to come for this program. You do well to be attentive to the message of God so that you can prepare yourself because Jesus is coming.
that promise in the book of John chapter 14 is about to be fulfilled now. That's why Apostle Paul is saying, although some of us have died, don't think that when Jesus Christ comes, they will miss him. No. Those among us that have died are now with Jesus in heaven. And when Jesus shall be coming, he will come along with them with their souls. They shall accompany him back to the earth. All of our brethren, all of genuine followers of Jesus in the world, all of them shall return with Jesus. Because they are now with him. He said in verse 16 of First Thessalonians chapter 4. First Thessalonians chapter 4. Verse 16. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Can you see? The Lord himself shall descend from heaven coming with angels coming with the saints of God that are in heaven a trumpet shall sound the archangel shall blow the trumpet and that trumpet shall be the voice of God calling his righteous children on earth to come up to heaven. I'm telling you, we shall soon hear that trumpet. Amen. Amen. All what we are doing now is preparation to ensure that when that trumpet sounds, we will hear it. Now, the Lord shall come with the saints and with the angels. And this is either going to happen this day or this week, maybe this year. The time is not known to us, but very soon. How many of you have dreamed the dream of the rapture? Yes, you just raise up your hand. You dreamed that the rapture took place. Yes, can you raise up your hand? I'm seeing the hand of Sister Tai there. Okay, I'm seeing this other sister's hand. 
Okay, over there too. There are many people. The Lord is already telling them, get ready. Tell the world, I am coming. Tell the world, I am already returning. I am giving you a sign. Prepare. Some of you dream you met the rapture. Some you dream you didn't meet the rapture. You were not able to go. All these are messages coming to get you prepared and through you to get your neighbor, your brother, your sister prepared. So it is not a new thing anymore. It's not a new thing anymore. There is an end. We are not serving God for nothing. We are serving God for a purpose. To go to heaven with him. <clears throat> I will want to remind you of people that Jesus has granted them grace to enter heaven after their death. The Lord granted us that, to know it, to let us know we are not serving him in vain. It all began with the story of Sister Zenum. You go to the internet, a saint that met heaven. Mr. Zenum, you will get the revelation God gave about her. She died in a motor accident on her way to the conference of Holiness Revival Movement. She was coming from Lagos to Abuja. And the Lord showed how an angel of the Lord came down and took Sister Zenum and said, the Lord has asked me. He said, Sister Zenum, you have died. The person lying down there is your body. That is not your body. But see you now, you are this, your, your soul is alive. The Lord has sent me to take you to heaven. Sister Zenum, you have made heaven. Amen. This sister was working in the bank, but resigned her work in the bank for some righteous reason. She was zealous. She was committed. Her convert is now the state coordinator of Lagos State in Nigeria. Yes. The angel came and said, Sister Zenum, the Lord Jesus has sent me to carry you to heaven. You have met it. Amen. Then they were going, what a glory, what a joy, as Zenim was waving Baba to this world. My brother, we're not serving God for naught. My sister, 
You are not suffering for Jesus for naught. It is that you will go to heaven. Paul the Apostle said, if it is for this world only, we are serving Jesus, suffering in the hands of sinners. Sinner husband, sinner wife, sinner neighbor, sinner government. If it is for this life only, for any reward in this life only, that we're restricting ourselves, keeping ourselves in righteousness, then we are miserable people. But I say, not for this life only. There's a life to come. People are entering into it already. And we shall also enter there. But it's not that we shall all die. Some of us, Jesus is coming to meet us alive. With all sincerity, brother, you that I am seeing now, I don't know that whether you will die natural death through old age before Jesus Christ is, will come in the rapture to take his children home. I told you the story of a woman in Ghana that had a child that was 10 years old a few years ago that Jesus Christ visited her and took her around to see some iniquity in Ghana. Took her to see this and see that and gave her message. She rejoiced that she had the opportunity to meet with Jesus. And what is her problem? What problem? Jesus, my child is 10 years old now. And I have not given birth to another child. Lord Jesus, please, I want you to give me another child. As I heard the story, <laughs> Jesus smiled and said, Woman, this is your child that is 10 years old will not finish his university to come and get work for you to benefit from him before I have arrived. Before I have come for the rapture. This is some years ago. The question now, how ready are you that if it were tonight, you will make it? How prepared are you that if the trumpet Sounds this now. You will make it. So, the trumpet shall sound. And all those that come with Christ, who have died already, shall go back and reunite with their body that was left on earth. And resurrect. And then ascend up to the sky to meet with Jesus, who is who will be waiting for his sins in the sky. Then first back to First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 17. Then we which are alive 
and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. The dead who have died will return with Jesus to the earth. They will return with Jesus. And Jesus will remain in the sky. They will all move to the earth and reunite with their dead body to put on the resurrection body. Because they left their own dead body on earth and the soul and the spirit went to heaven when they die. So they will come back and reunite with that body. You say, but the body has decayed. It will gather again. The miracle of God will gather back the body again. You see, the body has melted and turned to dust. Nature is not lost. Nature only changes form, but does not get lost. Nature can be, can be a solid. It can be a liquid. It can be gas. It condensed back to solid. But it is never lost in the space. So the body left. When somebody dies, that body that is buried, that is discomposed, shall still be regarded. But at this time, in the resurrection, it is resurrecting a new body. It's like when one planted a mango seed, it grows up to be a mango tree. You don't see the seeds anymore. You see a mighty tree that is some thousand times bigger than the seed that was sown. It's a new body producing leaves. It's a new body producing thick substance, branches. It's a new body that is growing high and tall. So the body, the resurrection body is going to be, as God shall give it, great, wonderful, Excellent, eternal. The blind man shall not be blind anymore. The lame man shall not be lame anymore in the resurrection body. Any blemish shall be removed. There shall be no excess fat in that body. There shall be no bent bones in that body. There shall be no dark skin in that body or any blemish in the in this texture. It shall be the body that God shall give it. No human being on earth has that body now. Only at the resurrection shall this body be given. Excellent. And it is not going to be according to race, according to nation, according to tribe. No, it is like the body of Jesus. The body of Jesus, bright, radiating like the star, like the firmament of the star, or of the cloud, of the sky. Bright and beautiful. That is coming very soon. That is coming very soon. It's beautiful that you have held your righteousness to this day. Yes. It is blessed. That you are keeping to your righteousness to this day. 
Then, while the resurrection, the people resurrect, we who are still alive in a twinkling of an eye, our body shall change. If it happens tonight, you are going to see wonders. You will look at yourself and say, wonderful. You will recognize yourself, but you will say, is it the great reward God has given me for serving him that I have this resurrection body? is priceless is priceless is priceless the beauty is not cosmetic beauty but it is heavenly beauty the god that made flowers is the god that will give you the resurrection body is the god that will give you the transformation body, the eternal body, you will praise him. You will thank him. You have not yet been to heaven. The body has not been given. It is the body that is now going to enter into heaven forever. I'm telling you, it's worth more than suffering, die, come back and suffer, die, come back and suffer a million times. If that were possible in life to suffer a million times of your or a million times of your uh, of your life period on earth to end that body you would do it how much more just once just pass through this life once and god gave you that body resurrection body <laughs> resembling the body of god the body that shall no more die. The body that shall no more be sick. The body that shall not have no infirmity. The body that is of perfect beauty. Glory. The reward of Christianity. Wonderful. We shall suddenly be changed. And then we shall ascend after the day, after the dead cells rise we shall join them up in the air rising to meet with jesus who is waiting for us in jubilation in the sky to take us home that is home now the earth is not home. Where you are staying is not home. Even if you are, oh, I have bought a house. That house is not home. I have been living in this place for long. It is not home. It's not home. Whom I have arrived is heaven. is heaven. Whom is heaven? Not the earth. This earth is not my home. I am just a passing through. Yes. My treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue. The angels beckon to heaven's open doors, and I can feel like home in this world anymore. Not here. Jesus is telling you this place is not home. So don't think that Christianity is not paying you because of the nature of this place you are in because of the nature of the place, the city, the country you are in, is no more. It's not home. You have not yet come home. 
home is heaven. When you enter heaven, the cells of your body will say, ah, now I have come home. Here is a dying place. Here is a pilgrimage. Here is like a school. When you are in the school, you're not at home. You're just in the school to get some success. Something that will help you in life. Something that will give you a better living. After school, you go back home. So the earth is not home. Home is heaven. Very soon, the trumpet shall sound. We shall go home. We shall go home. We shall go home. Very soon we're seeing Jesus. I shall see Jesus someday. Sometimes in the sky. Someday. Sometimes. In the sky, I shall meet Jesus someday, sometimes in the sky, someday, sometimes in, I shall meet Jesus, I shall meet Jesus, I will see Jesus, I shall see Jesus, I say I shall see Jesus. I will meet Jesus. I say you will meet Jesus. Someday. Sometime in the sky. Rapture is taking you to meet with him in the sky. He shall take you to heaven. And all comforts. He shall wipe away your tears. The suffering, the embarrassment, the pain, the disappointment shall be no more. It's very soon. The race is getting to a close. Bear a little longer. Bear a little longer. I tell you the story of 40 people. They were arrested by the communists. Yes. During communism. They say there's no God, no heaven, nothing. And they persecuted the Christians. You remember Russia practiced this and some countries. So these men were arrested for serving Jesus. They were persecuted. They were tortured until they became weak and started dying one by one because of Jesus. They said, renounce Jesus, then send never. The first one died. An angel came down with a crown and put upon his head and flew him to heaven. I wish you heaven. The second one died. The angel put, put the, throne, the crown on him. 
they began to die. Wearing their everlasting crown for suffering. Jesus said, whatever you're suffering, I'm going to give you the crown of life. Endure your suffering. I will give you the crown of life. Only God understands what he means by the crown of life. Authority to live forever. I will give you the authority. I am going to give you the certificate of life to live like God forever. Endure. They kept dying until the last man. The angel came down with the crown already. Endure. The crown is already waiting for you. The Lord knows your suffering and pain. He knows your lacks. He knows what troubles your life. Some of you all marriage or this peace. You have something waiting for you better than that. Something waiting for you better than that. If you were that, not that this Christian have had a reward, then we are useless people because people are making it in this life. There are people that money, they have money, they get the thousands of it every day. Fancies of life, they have it. Beauty, glories of the earth, but we are more than that. More than that. <laughs> it's like you're invited to a party, to a wedding, by a friend. And you went to the wedding, you are a VIP. While others are eating the rice, the shear, and the, the thing they gave up there, you're seeing them eating. You like it, but the one that brought you to the wedding said, no. You are not for this. You are VIP. Do you understand? Leave this once. Yours is in another room. Yours is another packaging. For VIP. We are VIP. Others are eating in this world. We are sitting down. Is it because we don't have to eat? No. What we have is better than what these people are eating. That's third class. Well, first class. We are first class. You are first class. Your reward is coming. Hmm. Now you know you are serving God for a purpose. What encouragement is God giving you? First John chapter three, verse one to three. Beloved, what manner of love the Father had bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it does not yet appear what we shall be.
But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And every man that had this hope in him purified himself even as he is pure. Every person that has this hope will give attention to holiness. Purity of life. Give attention to holiness. To purity of life. Don't mind your lacks. Mind your heaven. Mind heaven that may come tonight. Mind heaven that may come this year. Mind it. Then keep yourself clean. Don't allow the love of man to make you compromise. To make you turn your back at God. Don't. Bear it in the house. Bear it with sinners. Bear it in the pains of the body. The reward is more. Talk to somebody about Jesus. Make Jesus happy by being fruitful. Make Jesus happy. Be fruitful. Herein is my Father glorified that ye bear much fruit and your fruit should remain. Bring more people to Jesus. Work hard. It shall tell on you in heaven. The number of people you brought to serve Jesus who are born again and righteous. The Isha tell on you. If somebody has children upon the earth, oh, he's happy. How much more in heaven that you have someone? The children of on earth, are they not sinners? But your glory is still. The man glory still. The woman is glory. Have children, have five, have four, have three, have two. Are they holy? You have to be laboring on them to come to Christ. Some disappoint. You wish you never had them. But what about these eternal children that you bear? When you make somebody righteous in Christ, they will tell of you in heaven. They will tell of you in heaven. They will bless your life in heaven. They will honor you in heaven. I mean, it will add to your glory. He that winneth souls is wise. And they that be wise shall shine as the star. Stars. Thank you, my sister, my brother, today. I've gotten time to encourage you to serve Jesus and remain with him and labor for heaven. Don't look back. You shall see Jesus. You shall see Jesus. I say you will see Jesus. Sometimes, sometimes in the sky you will meet Jesus. Someday, sometimes in the sky, waiting to take you home to heaven, you will meet Jesus. Someday, sometimes I say you will meet Jesus. 
you will meet Jesus. Brother, you will meet Jesus. You will meet Jesus. Sister, you will meet Jesus. You will see Jesus. Brother, you will see Jesus. Sister, you will see Jesus. I say you will meet Jesus. Someday, sometimes in the sky. In the rapture. Someday, sometimes. Now, going to sing in this song to comfort yourself. I will meet Jesus. Someday, sometimes in the sky. Sing it. Yes, and it is true. Worship the Lord. It's true. Rejoice. Don't mind your suffering. to be stable in my Christian life. Lord, I want to be original. I want to be original. I want to be original. I want to serve this Jesus. You who are not in Christ, come in, come in, come and tell him I want to come in. I want to meet with him. Talk to the Lord. Lord Jesus, I can be stable. Lord, I can be stable. Talk to the Lord. Lord Jesus, I can just be sick. Lord Jesus, I can be prophecy in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are going to talk to the Lord. In the name of Jesus, I can be sick. I put it in my life. 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 I put it in
Make a promise, you will never leave it. But let me look at that nice man the other. Let me stand in the this fair ground. Let me stand. Yeah, my But I wish you to have before your people. Lord, I see you, Lord. But now I see you, Lord. But now I see you, Lord. Take a promise. Confess. Lord, I will never leave you. I will never leave you, Lord, for sick. Lord, for me, hold me, Lord, when I'm falling, for the left is the Lord. When I'm down, for the left is the Lord. For the Lord, 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 so for that. Jesus. Whatever you try, I will not leave Jesus. Satan, I find you again. Satan, I find you Get out of my life. Get out, Satan. I find you. I will not serve you. I will serve God. I will not disobey. Receive the power to serve the Lord. Abide in me. Thank you. Receive the grace to live righteous, to live holy. We are serving the real God. It's a reality. <clears throat> we are serving Jesus for heaven. Call upon him to perfect your life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Tell Jesus to help you. You must go to heaven. You must not be left behind. You must not be left behind. So far in vain, how will you so far two places? So far in heaven, I mean hell, again with this earth, never. You must make it to heaven.
In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, I want to pray for you. God shall help you. This heaven, you he will be there. Amen. I'm going to pray for power of God to overcome the power of Satan in your life. It's Satan that doesn't want you to go to heaven. He wants you to go to hellfire. I'm going to break you loose from Satan today. Tell God you are not for Satan. Tell Satan you are not for him. <laughs> Tell Jesus you give your life to him and let me deal with that devil for you. Tell him to change your life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yes. Let power come into your life. Amen. You can raise up your hands before God. God, these hands raised up before you want to go to heaven. We, I want to go to heaven. See me, oh God, help me. Do all you will want to do now to help me. I will pray that God will show you mercy. I will pray that God will do something in your life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Almighty Father, you are in heaven. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It is your desire that we come to meet with you in heaven. When Stephen was dying, he saw Jesus welcoming him to heaven. My God, walk on the souls of these your children to qualify them for the righteous life of heaven. Amen. Walk on the spirits of these your children to qualify them for eternal life with God. Amen. Do your miracle in their life. Everybody get ready for miracle in your life. Do yes. your miracle in their life. Yes. Just me. Let the Holy Spirit do miracle, miracle of transformation by the power of God. 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 Transform them. Break their yokes. Let the new life be formed in their lives. Oh Lord, I lose them. Everyone from the power of the devil, from power of sin, from power of evil. Lose them in Jesus' name. Let the Holy Ghost. 
the spirit of Christ come into their lives. The spirit of righteousness empower their lives. Lord, those who are serving you already add double double to them. More strength, more strength, more grace, more power, more victory. In Jesus' name. Yeah. All those people that have been overcome by sin, God, give them victory over sin. Deliver yeah. them from the power of sin. Bring the power of sin over their life. Give unto them the new life. In Jesus' name. Amen. All those people who are under the power of Satan, power of witchcraft, mommy spirit, any strange spirit that has gotten aligned with them to take them to hell. Oh Lord, loose them today. Loose them today. Loose them today. Break the power of spirit. We bind the spirit. We break the power of the spirit. We loose the power of the spirit. We dominate the power of the spirit. Judge the spirit. Break the spirit. Deliver the power of the spirit. In Jesus' name. Do something new. Let the children serve the Lord. Mm-hmm. Let these men and women serve the Lord. Mm-hmm. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. Oh, I cover you with the blood of Jesus. Oh, the Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Wash with the blood. 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 The blood. The blood. The blood. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Blood of Christ. The blood of Christ. The blood of Jesus. Clean you now. Clean your heart. Clean your heart. The blood of Jesus, that truth, tough Jesus, be holy, be holy, be righteous in all your ways, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. You are not for the devil, you are for Jesus. Not for the devil, but for Jesus. Not for the devil, but for Jesus. I declare, I declare, I declare, I declare. Break that power of Satan. Break that power of Satan. Look so for me. God will worship. Carry them. Carry them to your bosom. Be happy with them. Give them your spirit. Give them your joy. Thank you for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Almighty Father, we're still praying. God, remember them of what to eat and what to drink. Remember to feed them, to provide for them the necessities of life. Amen. Lord Jesus, provide jobs for them. There are those that need documents so they will be able to find better jobs. Answer them, Lord. Do it for them. Open the door for them. Give them favor. Divine Father, God, give jobs opportunity to them. Direct them to where they, they can be well paid. Amen. So they can serve you with their own resources. Amen. Jesus, I pray against sickness. I pray against attacks Amen. that the devil brings upon them. Amen. Oh Lord, 
Deliver them. Amen. Deliver them. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord give you rest. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord give you victory. Amen. May the Lord give you victory. Amen. May God Loose you from that spirit. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Oh Lord, we want you to protect them. Yeah. Protect them from COVID-19. Yeah. Protect them from various sicknesses and diseases. Yeah. Jesus. Anyone with any difficult matter in the family, in their marriage, Answer them in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Those, oh Lord, that are looking for you for marriage or for childbearing, do your work in them. In Jesus' name. To the glory of your name. Father, children, make them intelligent. Grant them school. School fees. Take care of them. Keep your children healthy. Jesus, remember to promote them. Lord, make them stronger in Christ. Yeah. Let them win souls for Jesus. Yeah. May the Lord be with you and upgrade your spiritual life. Yeah. In the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. The Lord make you double, double, double. Amen. Joyful Christian. Fruitful Christian. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bless you, Daddy. The coordinator can take over. Amen. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, Contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805-683-4323. You can also reach us through our email address, holinessrevivalmovement at gmail.com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through Him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus I believe
you purchased me with your blood you are my lord and my savior you left your throne above and took up the form of a servant for my sin I believe in you, you are the living Savior.
believe in you. You are the living Savior. I believe in you. I love you, Lord. I love you. I believe. Jesus, I will.